Mauricio Pochettino has carved out a richly deserved reputation for developing young stars, but there are some at Tottenham Hotspur who seem to have drifted back out of the spotlight. The list of young players the Argentine has turned into internationals is a long one, but for every Harry Kane, Harry Winks or Luke Shaw, there is an academy product who hasn't quite been able to match Pochettino's demands for one reason or another. For some there is still hope, while for others their time at the North London club could be edging towards its conclusion. Here are just some of those players who have drifted out of Pochettino's thoughts and our Tottenham correspondent Alasdair Gold's view on their future at the club. Marcus Edwards there's only one place to start really. This season will have been a great experience for Marcus Edwards and getting him away to a technical league to develop was a good move by those around him. He's done well on the whole in the Eredivisie, particularly since the turn of the year with some fantastic displays and it will have taught him plenty about first-team football and its demands. When he returns to Spurs this summer there is no option for a permanent deal to join Excelsior Rotterdam he will have one year left on his deal. He and the club will have to sit down and make a decision about what comes next. If he returns and dazzles in training then Pochettino will have no choice but to take a look at him again and perhaps take him on the preseason tour to Asia. If he comes back with the mindset that he wants to continue playing regularly elsewhere then the club will make that happen and it could be on a permanent deal because of that contract length with a sell-on clause. Jack Rolls this one surprises me. There doesn't seem to be any progress with Jack Rolls unfortunately, with four months to go on his current contract nothing has been agreed with him or seemingly offered which is surprising, even to simply protect the value of a club asset. Rolls is one of the most prolific goalscorers in the academy, and he does it from midfield. I'm impressed almost every time I watch him play for the U23s. For whatever reason, he doesn't seem to have caught the eye of Pochettino though. He turns 20 this month and is coming to a point in his career when a loan move could do him wonders. However, if he leaves the club this summer permanently it'll be someone else's gain eventually. Tash and Oakley Boo the teenager became the first millennial to play for Tottenham Hotspur when he appeared against Barnsley in the Carabao Cup last season after impressing in the pre-season tour to the USA. Oakley Booth has had a few injury problems in the last year or so which have hampered his development a little bit, but Pochettino and the first team coaches are keeping an eye on him still. I watched him on Friday night in the U23's defeat to Arsenal, and he was one of Spurs' better players on the pitch. He's still young he turned 19 on Valentine's Day and with a deal that doesn't expire until 2021 time is on his side. Luke Amos it was the worst timing possible. Luke Amos had starred on the US preseason tour, made his Premier League debut in the opening game of the season at Newcastle and was working with the first team consistently. Then in a Premier League 2 game with the U23s in late September he ruptured an anterior cruciate ligament and he won't be back now until next season. I saw him training in the gym at the club last week alongside Del Alley. It's such a shame for the young midfielder, as with all the injuries this season he would have got plenty of first-team minutes under his belt. Hopefully Pochettino will keep him in his thoughts for the next campaign, and like Oakley Booth he has a deal that lasts until 2021. Josh Anama he was a bright midfield hope under Pochettino, 
but the Spurs boss never seemed willing to play him in his more natural central midfield position. He has since been on loan at Aston Villa last season and now Sheffield Wednesday, but it has been a couple of months to forget for Josh Anama. Pochettino told Football.London last month that he was considering recalling the injured Anama from his Sheffield Wednesday loan. In the end the decision was made to keep him at the championship club, particularly with the arrival of Steve Bruce, who helped develop the 21-year-old at Aston Villa. However, after Anama made his return to action from an injury which has kept him out for around a month from the bench with 25 minutes to go in the 1-0 win at Ipswich Town earlier this month, he picked up another injury which is set to keep him out for four weeks. It would take a stunning last few months of the season to grab Pochettino's attention again, and you feel that Anama who has a contract until 2021 will either be loaned out again to up his value or sold on. Cameron Carter Vickers the 21-year-old has been progressing well in the last 18 months away from Tottenham, getting plenty of games under his belt in the championship. After a stuttering start to the season, Carter Vickers has worked his way into the Swansea team as a regular in the back four. There was talk of the USA international returning during the January window to be sent out somewhere else, as he did last season in moving from Sheffield United to Ipswich, however he now looks settled at Swansea, and a full season in Wales could do him the world of good in his development. His future, with two years left on his deal, will depend on what happens with the other defenders at Spurs this summer. Anthony Georgiou the 21-year-old Cyprus international left winger made his debut for Spurs last season in the Champions League at Apple Nicosia. Giorgio has now had his first taste of senior league football after making the lone switch to Levante on transfer deadline day. He will be part of the club's B team and made his debut for them earlier this month with 26 minutes from the bench against CF Badalona in Segunda Division B. The winger has a year left on his deal at Tottenham and you'd think his chance to break into the first team has gone. Keep up to date with the latest Tottenham Hotspur news, features and exclusives from football. London via our free WhatsApp service. Text news to 0777619789 and then add the number to your phone contacts book as spurs.london, case sensitive, with spaces, to receive daily updates and breaking news from Alasdair Gold and the team on Spurs. Your phone number won't be shared with any other members of the group. Click here for more information on the service.